Thank you, Jamie, for that moving interpretive dance. A medium not often used for occasions like this, but really should be, in my opinion. There is another verse of scripture that I've loved. King Solomon makes a profound statement in- Sorry, I'm late. I had a nightmare this morning. I couldn't find my smoothie bottle. Ecclesiastes in the Bible. And what? that is, there well, is- You can't drink a smoothie out of a non-smoothie bottle. That's ungodly. Oh shit. <laughs> Can't really say that in a church, can you? Or swear. Well, it's just bricks and mortar at the end of the day. No, it's a church. You don't swear in a church. Or turn up late to a funeral in one. Or turn up looking like Elton in the 80s. Well, didn't you read the pamphlet thingy? It said celebrating the life of Alfie. I'm not going to turn up to a celebration wearing a polyester suit, am I? This is a respectful interpretation. Yeah, but it's not a celebration, is it, Tarquin? It's a funeral. You came it's a to death. Us from your it's a poignantly sad moment in life. It's a moment of respect so and quietness, and everyone knows that. Everyone does that. Everyone. It's not a moment to rock up like Boy George because it's your interpretation. Having left so Boy George and Elton. So wow. Have you been listening to pop music again? No, Second I've been listening to your moronic excuse door. for being 45 minutes late to a funeral because of a smoothie Looking bottle. So I've had to watch you swan in here late. Now I have to sit next to someone who's dressed like Please say Bowie. a fucking idiot. I thought you weren't meant to swear in a church. I thank God for your life, Alfie. And I thank him for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon so many of his children. What's it all about? Alfie, is there one moment of what's it all about? What is it all about, Alfie? Before we end our ceremony today, we would like to have just one more goodbye from Alfie's mother. Thank you, Father. Thank you, everyone, for coming Doesn't today. Doesn't she hate you for what you did to Alfie? To celebrate the life. We made up. I apologized. All is forgiven. You didn't shag her again, did you? No. You would be so happy. Oh my God! Keep your voice down. Not again! I didn't. What? You have to stop shagging the landlord. I'm not shagging the landlord. Shh. Thank you for all of the wonderful food. Cheapskate. Shut up! Shh. She ain't afraid of no ghost. He really would have enjoyed that. <laughs> because my Alfie is... <laughs> my Alfie! <laughs> I'm sorry. I loved him so much! <laughs> I, I loved him so much! You, you don't understand! <laughs> Listen, you were the one who said they liked the rent being cheap. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary. Oh, so if you're a tight arse, it's necessary to bang the lady who controls your hot water. Just pay the water bill. <laughs> Can we talk about this when we're home? Can I please pay my respects? She's just lost the love of her life. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How old was Alfie when he died? Fifteen. Good innings.
So, does she know that it was you that hit Alfie with your car yet? Guessing that's a no, then. This guy. 